In this video we are going to look at how to get a free Moodle theme and how to add it to your Moodle site. On Moodle.org go to Downloads, Modules and Plugins. You will see here a link to the old themes database. However, I'm going to scroll down and there I can see under the categories there is one called Themes. Here I can browse the themes that are specific to my version of Moodle. I have Moodle 2.2 installed, so that is what I've got selected from this drop down menu at the top. However, if you have a different version of Moodle installed, then you will need to change this. Once I find a theme that looks interesting, I'm going to click on its name, and that will take me to a theme page. I can download the correct version. Now this does say Moodle 2.0, but most themes that are written in Moodle 2.0 will work just fine in Moodle 2.2. It is the themes that are written for 1.9 that will not work in Moodle 2 and higher. I'm going to save the file to my computer. I'm going to extract it or unzip it, and there will do. And then here, I'm going to make sure I grab the correct directory, because I don't want to copy this directory into my Moodle folder, because it has another subdirectory in it. It is this directory, the one directly above the theme files that I want to be copying. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into where my Moodle 2.2 local install sits which on my computer is on my C drive under WAMP dub dub dub. And I'm going to find the theme folder and I'm going to paste it into here and I just pasted it in using Control v Then I'm going to go to my Moodle 2.2 site and normally a theme won't need further installing than that but some themes do so I'm going to go to my notifications and you can see here this is the theme I installed Dark B so it does require you to just confirm some settings so I'm just going to leave those as they are and go save changes. And that theme has now been installed on my site, which means that I can go to Appearance, Themes, Theme Selector. And if I select what my standard theme will be, or my default theme, I should be able to scroll down and there it is, Dark B. So I can use that theme now on my site. Now if you are installing your theme onto a live site, the process is pretty much the same, except that you will need to FTP or however you upload files to your site, and you will need to make sure you upload that folder into the themes directory. of your site, making sure that you upload the folder that has the theme files directly below it.